Hey, this is Antonio. Welcome back to my channel. Who's ready for some fighting words? In this video, I want to talk about Adrian Broner and his switch of opponent from Ivan Redcash to Henry Lundy. Um, really quick, if you like the videos, please like, please share, please subscribe to this channel. Take the opportunity right now to subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. If you have, I truly appreciate you and your support. Um, also, if you could hit the thumbs up button, it really does help and support this channel. Let's get back to the video. So Adrian Broner is no longer fighting uh, Ivan Redcash, which, okay, sure. Not that I was overly excited about the fight because I wasn't, but, but okay, fine. Well, who's he gonna fight now? Henry Lundy. Let me explain Henry Lundy. 31 wins, 12 losses. Three of those losses come by way of KO. He's been knocked out three times. Now, this is what I do not like about boxing. It's very clear somebody in the BLK Prime promotion wants Adrian Broner to be a champion again because he's like the biggest name that they have. I mean, they have Terrence Crawford, or I don't know if he's actually with them, with them, but they have, they've worked with that name already. Uh, but Terrence Crawford doesn't move people or put butts in seats like Adrian Broner. So I get it. From a marketing standpoint, we got to make this dude a champion of something quick. We have to make this dude, you know, make a highlight reel with, with this guy. We got to do something big with this guy on his first showing. So let's let him beat up on Henry Lundy. Let's let AB go back to being a problem, at least for this night. Okay, so that everybody, you and myself included, you know, the fans, we will be tricked into thinking the problem is back, not realizing there there was never uh, an issue. <laughs> like, no, he's not back. He's fighting Henry Lundy with 12 losses. Are you kidding me? Like, seriously, are you kidding me? So this is what I don't like about boxing. I don't like that boxing thinks that, you know, we the fans are dumb enough to spend our hard-earned hard money on a fight that we already know the outcome. Like, and it's not like, you know, one guy's just hasn't fought any. So here it is. Here it is. Let me let me say it like this. If if Earl Spence were to fight um, Jerron Boots Ennis right now, we would all pay for that fight. I would pay for that fight. I want to see that fight. OK, now Boots has not really Boots hasn't fought anybody, honestly, but he's created a, a nice little highlight reel of, you know, people he's knocked out. But he hasn't really fought anybody. Spence, on the other hand, is proven. Spence has proven himself time and time again. Okay? Elite championship level fighter. Cool. Boots, we look at him as future elite championship fighter. Cool. Boots has zero losses. Spence has zero losses. So when we put these two together, although one guy hasn't fought anybody... We still don't know. There's spontaneous combustion. We don't know. We want to see this fight, right? When you take Adrian Broner with his four losses and you take Henry Lundy with his 12 losses, number one, who wants to see this? That's that's the first thing. Who wants to see this? But wh what's the what's this, where's the suspense factor in this fight? Obviously, I'm going to go with the guy who has four losses versus the guy who has 12 losses versus the guy who's been knocked out, knocked unconscious three times. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick Adrian Broner, but I don't need to watch that. I don't need to watch that. I don't want to watch that, to be dead honest with you. I want to see a fight where there's there's chance and risk involved. And I got to tell you, in this fight, what risk is there? What risk is there? I don't care if we see the greatest Henry Lundy that that who's had the most amazing training camp he's ever had. It doesn't matter to me. Honestly, it don't matter to me. You've been knocked out three times. You can definitely go to sleep again. You've lost 12 times. It's not unbelievably out there for you to lose again. Okay? This tells me that as long as Adrian Broner does not get knocked out, he's definitely going to win. OK, on, on, on the scorecards, he's definitely going to win. Um, also, it tells me that they were looking for somebody that A.B. can have a highlight reel knockout. That's what it's telling me, because they're trying to to market us. 
the problem is back. Okay, so maybe Ivan Red Class was training too hard. I don't know. <laughs> maybe he was training too hard. Maybe maybe he turned into a vegan. It's like, oh, this guy's really serious about knocking out AB. Maybe that's it. Or maybe he's just not going for the bull. Maybe that's it. Maybe he's like, no, I'm coming to hurt him. And they're saying, no, we we need somebody who's just coming to get a check. Whoa. All right, this fight is off. <laughs> this fight is off. I don't know what's, what happened on the Ivan Redcast side. And quite frankly, I don't really care because, like I said, I wasn't totally invested into that fight. But I'm really not invested into this fight. I, I'm really disappointed with this. Um, you mean to tell me of all the fighters that they can find in the world, this is the best that they can find? Henry Lundy with 12 losses. Three knockout losses. Is that what you're telling me? I doubt that. I doubt that very highly. And also to fight Adrian Broner, I doubt that very highly. And all this money that they claim that they have, you know, Adrian Broner's like, no, the money's real over here. Well, if it's so real, they couldn't find a better fighter to fight you? They couldn't find a big name fighter to fight you? Are you kidding me? Now, I also know that, like I said, they that what they want to do is build Adrian Broner back up as a champion because they're the new promotion. So they got to build somebody up as a champion. You know, I don't really know what the Terrence Crawford situation is. And the rea reality is, I seriously doubt we're ever going get to get Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence. So they can't really run that route. But what they can do is run the route of AB. That's what they can do. And if this is all a play to get your hands on Regis Prograce, which I kind of believe it is. All right, why don't you just put him in there with Regis Prograce? Because I get it, AB's been gone a while. And I get it, he had a lot of weight that he had to get off. So... I understand he needs a tune-up fight, but could you give him a tune-up fight that would actually push him? Would you give him a tune-up fight that would actually put some risk involved? Um, this is not risk. This is not um, anything that's going to edify him as a fighter. It's not going to make him sharper as a fighter. The only thing it's going to do is reintroduce him to the crowd again because he's been gone so long. It's the only thing it's going to do. The only thing it's going to do is mind trick us to believe that the problem is back. But you and I both know, I hope you know, because I know, when Adrian Broner gets in the ring with Regis Prograce, the, the problem will be solved yet again, okay? The problem will be solved yet again, yet again. So I get it, you wanna make a play for the belt. Totally okay with that. I get it, you wanna make him marketable again on the fighting side, because AB is marketable, but he's marketable for all the wrong reasons currently. He's marketable right now because he gets in a lot of legal issues. That's why he's marketable. That's why you, you want to get him in front of the cameras. Because you know he's going to say something outlandish. He's going to do something crazy. And he's and once he's done with that moment in, in, in the spotlight with the camera in front of him, he's probably going to walk out the doors and get arrested. So I get it. You want to make him fan-pleasing and marketable again in the ring where he should be. Totally understand that. You want to make him a champion? Don't have any problems with that. Don't have any problems with that. What I have a problem with is who you're lining him up with so that he can be champion. Or, 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 I mean, how many tune-up fights is he going to have? Is he going to have just this one? Is he going to have two or three? So you mean to tell me we're going to get Adrian Broner versus three Henry Lundys in a row? Guys with multiple losses. Guys with double-digit losses. Until they feel like, okay, B, are you ready? You, you feel comfortable? You feel you feel good? You, you feel like you got your mojo back? Yeah, I feel like I got my mojo back. All right, let's try to get you a belt. Let's try to get you a belt. In the meantime, we're going to probably try to put Regis Prograde in a really, really hard, difficult fight. And that's really going to you know push him to the brink. Now, technically, it will make him better, but it will also damage him. And you'll have a better shot because you've been fighting bums. And he's actually fighting somebody... Uh, worthy and notable hmm maybe maybe because when you look at somebody you want to be a champ you want somebody to be loud and boisterous you know and outspoken and and have a lot of followers and and, and be a popular fighter uh, Regis Prograis is, is a, a soft-spoken guy he's he's not a loud guy he's a quiet guy um he's not getting arrested um you know people don't hate him you know, people aren't always talking about him, you know, because he's a quiet guy, he's a family guy. And then you look at Adrian Broner. You're saying, well, we want a guy like that because we're a new company. He's going to be our face. We can't really use Terrence Crawford as a face because we don't really even know if he's sticking around. But on top of that, nobody's coming to see Terrence Crawford on the level that they're coming to see Adrian Broner. 
So that's why I don't like boxing. That's why I, 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 from time to time I get fed up with boxing. It's a very love-hate situation with me um, because it is a sport, but boxing is very much so a, a business. You know, it's very much so a business. There's nobody in the back room at a, in, the, in the NBA saying, the Knicks have definitely got to win this year. All right, we got to switch some people around, some teams around. We're going to make Indiana fight these guys first, you know, because we definitely want the, the, the Knicks to be in the play. Nobody's doing that. But in boxing, you can get away with that crap. You could play, you know, you can play the fiddle and say, well, uh, puppet master and be like, oh, I want this person over here and I want this person over here. But he's not that marketable or he's not that fun or he doesn't talk or he doesn't ha know how to do a great interview. Okay, but he's still a better fighter than him. Well, he sucks as a fighter, but everybody likes him. I mean, that's, that's, there's a lot of great fighters out there who unfortunately are never going to get the respect or the shine that they deserve uh, because they're not quote unquote marketable. And that's a shame. That's my dislike of boxing. That, that's, that's the love hate thing that I have with boxing. Um, unfortunately, it happens all the time. Um, and also, unfortunately, I don't foresee it stopping, especially with the rise of the, um, you know, the YouTuber gamer fighting, uh, the spectacle that that is and the, the, the circus fighting that that is, because now they're saying, wow, all you really have to be is popular. That's it. You just have to be popular. So when you look at a guy like Adrian Broner, he's perfect. He's perfect because he's popular. He's outspoken. He's wacky. He's nuts. You know, like, he's perfect. You know, he's unstable. He's perfect. He's unhinged. He's perfect. Put him over here. We'll grow as a company. And when it's time to find somebody, you know, reputable as a champion, we'll put him in there with, with AB and, and he'll send AB his lullaby. That's what I don't like about boxing. Um, I'm not happy about this fight. I did want to see AB. I mean, I wasn't going to pay for it or anything like that. But I did want to see AB. I want to see how he looked. You know, um, if you're talking about fighting Regis Progress, you better not look like trash. But he's fighting Henry Lundy, so he's definitely not going to look like trash. So it's not going to be a real tell on how he looks or how he's moving or anything like that. Because I'm assuming he's just going to walk Henry Lundy down. And maybe by round four, he'll get this guy up out of there. So those are my thoughts on the fight. I don't really feel like I need to do a breakdown for that. He got 12 losses and three knockouts, you know. You got porcelain for a jaw. So I really don't feel like I need to do a breakdown for that. But I don't know. Please like, please share, please subscribe to the channel.